And if this is my last video, which I really hope it isn't, like I said, for all I know, I'll be back uh, next week. But if it is, you've all been great. And I wish you the best. And, um... And goodbye. What could suck the motivation out of a YouTuber who through his own creativity and efforts built a channel with over 300,000 subscribers? Before there was Oxhorn, even before shoddy casts had taken their swing at Fallout lore, there was Thenthapple. Apple created his channel on August 16th, 2012. His channel would primarily serve as a platform to host his Let's Plays, which he would commentate over, though a soothing Scottish accent wasn't quite enough to bring in a massive following. These early videos were lucky to break a thousand views, with some barely breaking a hundred. That was until he had a stroke of inspiration. Over a year after he created his channel, Fenthapple uploaded his first Fallout lore video on September 27th, 2013. This would be groundbreaking for his channel. Whereas a few weeks before, he had videos that barely reached 200 views, this video would go on to accrue a view count of over 700,000. Fenthapple had found a winning formula. To his credit, he appears to be the first to have a successful channel providing Fallout lore. With Shoddycast's first Fallout lore video premiering a couple months after Thenthapple's, and Oxhorn wouldn't be making a Fallout lore video until years later. Thenthapple's first lore video, The Legend of Vault 92, is a bit more rough around the edges than his later work, and is likely the reason he doesn't include it and several other lore videos in his Fallout lore playlist. Despite the unpolished presentation, there is plenty of quality content here. While Shoddycast would take an almost reenactment documentary style to Fallout lore, Thenthapple had a different approach. His lore videos would follow him as he played through the game, using his keen eye for detail to pick up on the little nuances and hints to the player as to what happened in the location being discussed. This did add another level of interest because he would often point out subtleties that were missed in other videos similar to his. He would talk to the NPCs, explore the surrounding areas, point out anomalies, and infer upon his discoveries. This style may sound similar to another YouTuber, but we'll expand upon that more later. Thenthapple would spend the next six years creating lore videos and growing his channel. With his content improving in quality with every upload, he had carved out a significant niche for himself. This would all come to an abrupt end on March 19th, 2017, when Thenthapple would upload a video entitled Channel Update and General Discussion. A video blanketed with a defeated atmosphere, Fallout gameplay can be seen occupying the screen, maybe giving you the illusion for just a moment that this is a simple channel update. Thenthapple then begins to explain the reasoning for what may be the end of his channel. He expresses his interests are changing, and video games are slowly fading as one of them. Hello everyone, it's me, the Enthapple, and today we've got a few things to talk about. As you all know, for quite a while now, there's been a very significant drop in my channel, views, subscribers, and even the rate at which I post videos. Now, the rate at which I post videos has went down for a few things, or a few reasons, okay? One of the reasons is motivation. Over the past year and a bit, really since about Christmas last year, I've lost a good deal of motivation that I once had for this, uh, for this channel. And for the most part, I've powered through that. Also present has been a lot of stress. I've always been a bit stressed out, um, at least working from doing work on my home computer or whatever. A year and a half, it was uh, constantly breaking due to either faulty components. It just a lot's happened and there's been a lot of stress and I haven't coped with it well, but for the purpose of this channel, I've tried to push through that. I've tried to keep making more content. It is mentioned that his channel is slowly decreasing in viewership, and Thenthapple's motivation to make videos was waning. 
He seemed to want to take a break, but feared the damage taking a break will have on his channel and subscriber count. With the whole channels are losing subscribers, with me losing subscribers, it's just not been, uh, it's just not been great. And to be honest, I don't really know if I can keep powering through it. I am for sure running out of ideas for videos, um, but I'm running out of ideas for videos or I don't feel like I have as many now and I'm so hesitant to move on to anything else. I've tried it before, didn't really go well, and the amount of effort and work it takes to do one video. Y'all, maybe some of you don't know, this is not my job. I don't do this full time, I don't do this part time. It used to be a fun hobby and it is still fun at times and I love answering comments and interacting with people. So many changes have happened recently, what with more frequent videos being rewarded more whatever, views, attentive, attention, whatever you want to call it. I can't do that. Never mind the fact that I'm only getting home at like 5 or 6 every night, I don't have time just to spend on this and I don't want to to be honest. It's getting to the point where I can't really bear to do it, but at the same time I don't want to give up the channel, but at the same time I need a break, but at the same time I know if I take a break there will be very big consequences. If I take a break and I get my headspace sorted out, and that might take a, that might take a while, and then I come back, you will not be here. He also makes a few references to a certain classy gentleman, and these statements really got those gears turning in the old noggin. The whole frequency of videos isn't something I'm going to be able to do. Um, I imagine that's one of the reasons why Oxhorn has lately. Oh, that's another topic. It isn't too bad as far as I know. If everybody could just refrain from personally attacking the guy, that'd be great. I don't own fucking Fallout lore, Shoddycast was doing this before I came along. And as far as I'm concerned, he's filling a niche with a different kind of content than me. So, yeah, just watch his content, support him. He's another YouTuber doing something that not a lot of YouTubers do and should be doing. And I'd appreciate if everybody showed the equal support for that. One of the reasons he's doing so great right now, and I mean his channel's exploded, is I think because he posts with very regular frequency. The amount of work I put into these prevents that I can't do them daily. If I only did this when I got home, and nothing else, I could maybe crank out a video once every four days. That would burn me out, I would begin to hit this, and I am not prepared to do that. This is not meant to be something that's meant to take up on all my free time, or that's meant to kill me doing it. The video ends with him stating how he hopes this is not the end of his channel, which in hindsight is even more depressing to hear, being that he has not uploaded in over two years. We're at an impasse, and I'm uncertain of how to progress. What I do want to say is I, I just thank you for all the support you give me over the years, even though over the past about year and a half, two years, I haven't really done much to deserve it. And thank you for whatever patience you've shown me so far and may show me in the future. And if this is my last video, which I really hope it isn't, like I said, for all I know I'll be back uh, next week. But if it is, you've all been great and I wish you the best. And, um, and goodbye. It appears that it is the end of Thenth Apple, someone who poured their heart into a new idea on YouTube, which resulted in him garnering a massive fandom, only to lose all of his drive to continue with the series that he had created. It begs the question, is there more to this? A few of his statements had led some to speculate on why he really lost his motivation to continue with his lore videos. Some of you may have already figured out what I've been alluding to this entire video. Since Thenthapple abandoned his channel, many have speculated that this was due in part to Oxhorn essentially stealing his format and having more opportunity to upload them faster than Thenthapple could. It's understandable why some would begin to entertain such rumors if you take what Thenthapple said in his video and look into the timeline a little bit. 
As stated before, Thentapple had uploaded his first lore video, The Legend of Vault 92, months before ShoddyCast had uploaded their first Fallout lore video, and years before Oxhorn even touched the subject. Before Oxhorn started uploading Fallout videos to his channel, it was relatively small and growing pretty slowly. And when I say Oxhorn essentially ripped off Thentapple's format, this is not an exaggeration. Not only would Oxhorn mimic the style in which Thentapple would show the viewer the lore, paralleling this educated let's play, he also chose to focus on the same game series, which would lead to complications down the line. If that wasn't enough, the first video that emulated this format was entitled The Legend of Shipbreaker, going as far as to copy the way Thentapple would title his videos, which could easily make people think they were clicking on a Thentapple video only to be introduced to Oxhorn. In Thentapple's last video, he mentioned that it would cause him stress to try to stay on top and release content that was quality, but also in a fast and consistent manner. It almost seems that he feels he needs to compete with someone else, and that this is sucking the enjoyment out of his hobby. Possibly this relates to something he says later in the video. While talking about how Oxhorn's channel and videos are taking off, he mentions that Oxhorn can release his videos faster than Thentapple can himself. This comes off as bittersweet and could give context to the stress he is feeling not being able to produce content fast enough while maintaining a normal day job. Oxhorn did not have a day job. He had all the time in the world to fill in the gaps between Thentapple's releases. But the fact that Oxhorn chose not only to emulate Thentapple's style, but the game series as well, would lead to a conflict that puts Thentapple at a disadvantage. Since they both cover the same topic in the same format, it becomes a race to cover each interesting location and character before the other can. Think about it. If Oxhorn does a video on the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, what reason does Thentapple have to cover it when their style of videos are so similar? Sure, he could add a detail here or two, but are you as the viewer really going to want to sit through two 30-minute videos on a single location when new videos are being released almost every day? With Oxhorn having nothing else to do but make these videos, with every video Oxhorn uploaded, Thentapple's options for new videos shrank. Not only in the quantity of topics, but the quality of topics. With Oxhorn having the edge on being able to cover bigger, more important lore pieces faster than Thentapple can. Things get even more interesting when you look at some of the upload dates and view counts. After Oxhorn uploads his first lore video, Thentapple's views begin to drop. While he still maintained a decent view count for a while, but as Oxhorn's videos increased, his number of views began to drop faster. Where at one point his lore videos would average around half a million views, his viewership dropped to around 150,000 per video in the last few months of his channel. He had built his subscriber base on content that he had pioneered only to see it consumed by someone who copied it and had more time to produce it. The only videos that continued to gather high view counts were his Fallout Theory videos, which differed from the other content that Oxhorn had emulated. Until, of course, Oxhorn tried his hand at that content as well. Thentapple had been uploading Fallout content for over five years until Oxhorn decides to upload his first Fallout lore video. Then, within a few months, Thentapple decides to quit YouTube. And while this speculation may be open and shut for some, it should be kept in mind that correlation does not equal causation. And even if the reason Thentapple quit is because Oxhorn was able to upload what would be his content faster than he could and essentially boxed him out of the market, that's unfortunately the rules of the game. While what Oxhorn did may not be admirable, it helped him succeed, and it's not against any terms of service or law, it's competition. Oxhorn can produce the same product at a faster rate and thus people flock to consume his content. That's the nature of the free market, but it'd be nice to see Thentapple come back to YouTube. I know a lot of people would love to see him produce some more content, even if it's not Fallout related. What a beautiful and idyllic island we have before us. Cranberry Island, the topic of today's video. A fairly large island set on the south end of Far Harbor. It's composed of three locations, all of which we should be covering today. In all these terminals for the dormitory rooms, there is a noise flush system which will kill, by the way, any Marduk that hears it. But it's white noise, which you'll see in a wee second. So the noise flush system is very high pitched white noise, you might actually turn your headphones down. It's kind of irritating, quite irritating.
you've all been great. And I wish you the best. And goodbye. <laughs>